Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Money Frenzy. Attracting and manifesting our desires, such as manifesting more money, is a wonderful concept that many do not know about. There are some tricks on how you can attract and bring those desires into your reality. Your mind is very powerful, so it can be easy to attract and manifest your thoughts. For example, you can think about attracting more money, but if you have more thoughts about your current beliefs towards money, you will not attract more money. Today's video is going to be about 5 ways to think and attract wealth. Number 1. Eliminate any fears about how you will attract money. We all have thoughts that run through our mind and they will eventually attract and manifest into our life. Some of these thoughts might be about your desire to attract more money and some might be about your fears, such as a fear that we will not attract more money. When we think about our desire to attract more money, it sometimes can be hard to only think about how much money we will have in our future and how we will attract more money. We may go directly to our fears and we might allow them to take over our minds, allowing us to attract the lack of money instead. Money might not be why you have these fears. Most likely, there is a deeper issue that surrounds your beliefs around money. If you think you're too young or don't have enough experience to attract and manifest the money that you truly want, there probably is another issue that is causing that belief. Take some time to look into your beliefs and thoughts that surround money and wealth. Meditate and try your best to work through your thoughts about money and how you might be able to attract even more. Number 2. Focus on your thoughts about money. What are you attracting? Your thoughts come instantly and they determine what you will attract. If you're constantly thinking about money, you will attract it. It may be instantly or it may attract over time. It's important to find out the intention you have behind your desire for money and good fortune. Focus your thoughts on money and allow your true intention to go along with it. This is the first step in managing your mind and what you attract. Your mind has the power and it is important to focus on what you will do with your new desire once you have it. Don't focus on the money or good fortune itself. Focus on what you will do with it, how you will use this desire of having money once you have been able to attract and manifest it. It is important about your intention that is associated with your desire for more money. It is important to create a pattern in your mind that will help you gain the power to attract more money in your life quickly. Number three, realize money is energy that you're attracting. What does your desire for money mean to you? And why do you want to attract more money? Money is just energy and it is reflective of you. You attract what you put out into the universe. If you're thinking about the money and good fortune you want to attract into your life and you're grateful for the money you have already been able to attract in your life, you are then open to receiving more money and abundance. You're giving off a higher vibration, ultimately attracting desires that match your vibration. You will be able to attract new things such as more money and abundance. Sometimes in life, we have to do things that we don't want to do, such as working a job that we don't like to pay our bills. Be grateful that you did attract this job because you're learning more about yourself and more about the type of life that you wish to have. Number four, imagine the money you want to attract. What does it feel like to attract more money into your life? Imagine what it will be like to attract the type of money and abundance that you desire. Imagine how good it will feel once you have been able to attract it. Bring those positive emotions about your money into your imagination. Think of how you can use your money to better and improve the world. Think of what it will feel like when you have been able to attract the money in your life. Look into the details of what you want to do with your money once you do attract and manifest it. Imagine how it will feel and how you will use the money you have attracted for good. Try imagine every detail and feel all the emotions that come along with having more money. How will this new money and good fortune change your life? Truly take time to think about this desire for money and what your future life will be like once you have been able to attract this money. This is a time where you can truly look at the desire you want to attract and dream of what it will be like to have more money. Dream of what your life will look like once you have been able to attract the money and wealth that you truly want. Number five, last but not least, work with your higher self to attract more money. Meditate and go within to ask for help from your guides on how you can attract more money. Your angels and your higher self are always with you and they are always guiding you to help you with your desires. They will help you attract more money. They know that you have a desire to attract more money and abundance in your life and they know how to guide you to achieve your goal. If you ask for help in attracting more money, they're going to guide you on how to move in the right direction to attract your desire for money. Your energy will match your desire so so you can attract it. Ask for help to raise your vibration to match your desire for money. Your angels and your higher self are there to help. And if you ask, they will. Sometimes your desire for money can be attracted and manifested in many ways, through a person, an event, or even a new job. It can be really, truly amazing. Anyways guys, unfortunately this does bring us to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, please do watch one of the two videos that are on screen right now. I'm sure you'll love at least one of them. With that being said guys, as always, I'll see you in the next video.